Have you ever wondered why some people are smarter than others? So I was uh, contemplating this question because of um, some comments or a comment that somebody made um, a number of times regarding a, f a couple of people that I know. Um, you know, one of these people's in my friend group and um, another one's just this dude, right? And they talk about this, uh, these people and they say how how smart they are how they're very intelligent right and it's like it's always kind of struck me as odd because it's like i you know in my time of knowing both of these people uh which is a while um i have never uh to my knowledge heard either of these people say anything that i thought was um uh, like a profound insight, you know, there was never anything that struck me as this person um, coming off as they have some kind of a superior intelligence. And so um, I've been thinking about this. So it's like, so what is it that makes a person have superior intelligence? I mean, um, and I came to the conclusion or basically the 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 idea that came to me which as far as i'm concerned uh reconciles the idea is that at the end of the day um they do not possess a a superior intelligence and i don't think that anybody does honestly um you know i think it's more along the lines of that we we all have um, a disposition you know there there are some people are interested in different things. And so as a result of that, they might find themselves walking down certain paths of looking into stuff. So it's not that anybody, uh, like say myself included, I do not possess a superior intellect. You know, do I have an intellectual nature? Absolutely, but so does everybody. I've never met a person who didn't have the same kind of faculty um, to pursue higher knowledge, to grow their understanding, you know, to widen their vocabulary um, in more ways than um, one, right? And so I think, yeah, and so at the end of the day, all that it is is that some people um, choose to educate themselves. They simply choose to look into stuff. They choose to not accept superficial surface level explanations as sufficient. They probe deeper, they look into stuff and, and then even further beyond that. I mean, and that is kind of the, what you would, uh, and uh, a sort of definition that you might use to describe somebody who might describe or call themselves an intellectual somebody who exists in a sort of perpetual state of pursuing higher knowledge where you don't just take things at face value you you go you go deeper than that and so the result of that is you end up building a a repertoire of knowledge of that you have accrued that has grown that if you that you have acquired over time and then you're able to expound that understanding in a variety of ways and it's not that you're smarter than anybody else it's just that you've done your research and you've looked into things and you and it adds up everything that you you know that you've taken the time to pursue and to grow your understanding of it, it it you can then relate you have so much more of a basis for comparison that you can relate one thing to and you you know it keeps you from having the wool pulled over your eyes the more stuff that you're aware of and so yeah um i think that uh yeah at the end of the day that that's all that there is to it because and so i think for myself at least what when when people are describing it's like oh yeah well this person is really smart you know they're just they have this intelligence and to me i'm just like i don't say anything because i don't want to um be a you know come across like a know-it-all or just like a jerk right i don't know how else to say it or just to be conceit you know you got to tread lightly on this stuff 
Um, but this is my channel, right? And so it's like, but so I can speak openly here. But the, the thing is, is it's like, I what I believe that some people, it's like, so if somebody's smart or somebody's intelligent in comparison to what or who is the, the thing. So like, what are you using as a as a reference in order to make this call to say okay well this person is this and that person is that um right and so uh and in my experience uh a lot of these people that i think you know who might describe somebody else they're they're they're, they're doing that in relation to themselves or it's like okay well where i'm at from what this person says, it feels to me like this person is quote unquote ahead in some kind of a way, more advanced in their understanding. But compared to somebody who has, say, done more research, who has more reference, uh, and like, say, for myself, like I said, like these people that, that some people are putting these other people on a pedestal and then saying, oh, wow, well, this person is just great yeah they're really smart and it's like like I said I've never heard them say anything either of them that I found even the littlest bit intriguing you know their their insights were yeah I mean there's just nothing there and so it is then these people because we all do possess some intellectual you know ability and whatnot so then what I would say is that there, there is a, a group of people that I would put into a category that I would call a pseudo intellectual, which is somebody who limits the scope of their inquiry to hmm, a person who limits the scope of their inquiry to further their own personal agenda, essentially. So they look into some things, but not everything, because if you were to look into everything, then there's certain implications when you find out certain pieces of information that you are unaware of. And if you keep looking into it and all of the evidence points to the exact same thing, and then you keep doing the contrary, you know, you can develop, you know, there's complexes that you can develop from that kind of stuff. I think that is why a lot of people essentially choose to keep themselves ignorant, willfully ignorant, because they don't want to know certain things because of the implication. They don't want to have to deal with it. So you just pull the wool over your eyes and you just kind of operate on a level that you feel comfortable with. So yeah, you know, I, um, I thought I would share that. I, I'm, yeah, trying to break back into doing this whole YouTube thing. I got like a couple, I got like 20 some videos planned right but it's just uh yeah this is me stepping my toes in the water um i hope you enjoy it so there is one more thing that i would like to add to this little exposition of what i um, consider to be smart and it is just that i think a big factor that plays into uh whether a person becomes smart or not is uh what they choose to preoccupy their time with. You know, I can say that for myself, I, I remember a time when I was very naive, when I had very little understanding of anything. I was, you know, just kind of bouncing around, bumming around, doing my thing or whatever. But then I went, I got out and I traveled. And at this time, you know, I've been to at least 20 countries. I have lived in multiple vehicles so that I could do that. I have broadened my horizons as much as I possibly can. I mean, I have, I read a lot of books. Um, I've seen many documentaries. Um, I conduct research projects on the internet. I spend fathom, like unfathomable amounts of time just looking into things, uh, compiling information and, um, <clears throat> and sorting through ideas and concepts so that I can wrap my mind around certain things. And I spend very little time, um, looking at my phone, uh, like say browsing through social media, scro scrolling, 
for stuff. I don't watch um, TV, like I don't watch any shows or anything like that. I mean, very seldomly um, would I watch something unless I had some reason to. Um, so there, there would have to be some element to it that I felt that I would be able to glean certain insights from. So um yeah and you know i and i know that that is a thing that a lot of people do i see a lot of people um old and young staring at their phone just and you know for like sitting in circles just looking at these things i see it at the gym i see it at coffee shops and stuff like that people just staring into these things um and I think that that, you know, when you spend your time doing that kind of stuff, that that is going to have an impact on um, your, I don't know, the, the development of your intellect, I suppose, is the best way to say it. I mean, um, powerful tools, but it's all how you use them. I mean, you have to be careful with some of these things. You can get carried away with stuff. Um, and I certainly stay away from um, anything that, or things that say, not take me out of the moment, but um, things that are distractions. Um, hence like the, the phone and the like movies and things like that. Like I, I used to really be into movies, but um, I don't, um, I don't like, yeah. I not not so much anymore anything that um that takes up time and that i don't that i can't really derive any meaning out of um that doesn't help me that to move forward in my life and and grow so that i can pursue the things that are the most important to me um i have come to shy away from essentially is not that I don't ever watch a movie, right? But uh, I'm very selective with what I do allow my mind to be exposed to um, because I know how impressionable I am. And I know, also don't like that uh, the things that we see, that we witness can show up in your dreams and then it makes dream interpretation very difficult because you've essentially exposed yourself to something that you, you, your mind takes as real. And so um, another one of the things that I, for myself, I see as a huge waste of time is anything that... Um, any kind of like escapism so we're talking like getting high we're talking getting drunk we're talking and that's where the entertainment fits into that category of watching movies because you go on a roller coaster ride an emotional roller coaster where you have highs and lows and there's tense moments and all this kind of stuff and it's like like I said it's not that I don't enjoy a little bit of that but it has to be kept in check um very consciously because of how easy it is to get lured into something that provides you with distraction from your life um and because and in all those times you're not learning you're not growing you're not developing you know you're not becoming you're just kind of being and you can yeah i mean so i mean and it's not like i don't like to have a beer once in a while i do um, but there's a time and a place for everything and some things need to be severely limited so that they don't become a negative influence on your development in life. I mean, there, you have to take time to smell the roses. There is a time to have a beer with your buddies, right? But it's like when that becomes uh, uh, an entity in your life which is overbearing, uh, that can be a problem, as you know. And so, yeah, that is the other piece of the this puzzle. And um, yeah, now I'm done. That's it. I'm not adding any more. Okay, I lied. There is one more thing that I just absolutely have to get out so that I can put this thing to rest. And, that, and it is that I, I believe that, you know... The, the, like the the thing with all of this is that the things that you spend your time doing um you know if they're not adding up to 
something like you your growth and whatnot you know you're you're selling yourself short um essentially right because only you can do this only you can make the choice to look into stuff to develop yourself and become a better version of yourself i mean and um what else was it uh I, yeah, that was it. It's just that, like, you know, it's something that I've found myself seeing to... I've, I've found myself seeing repeatedly is that um, you have the same 24 hours that I do. You know, you wake up in the morning and you have a choice about whether or not you're going to get out of bed and what you're going to do with your time. You know, you, you choose what you're going to put in your mouth and that has an effect on your energy levels and how you feel on your mental clarity. You have a choice what kind of music you listen to. You have a choice what kind of things that you watch. You know, the, the things that you are taking in, like that is your diet, is that everything that you expose yourself to, it has an impact. And then, so yeah, I mean, people who are struggling in their lives, it's like, well, get up early in the morning and hit the books i mean hit the yoga mat hit whatever it is that you gotta do but like get focused pay attention you know show up embrace the day every single day and it takes time but eventually it everything pans out and then you just stand back in awe and say wow look at all the hard work that i did i'm so proud of myself and then that's the encouragement that you need to uh, to continue to go on so yeah I highly recommend um, choosing to embrace life to to show up and participate to use the gifts that you've been given to propel yourself forward and you know maybe even share whatever your unique energy is with the rest of mankind and society because we need that and we need you and yeah so um, yeah get out of bed Get something done. Yeah.